Welcome to the prompt section. Here is where you will train your AI assistant to tell him how, what to say, and what to do during the conversation. The prompt has two steps, actions and the prompt itself. Those are two different things that need to be tackled separately. Let's start with the actions. Actions are like superpowers for your AI assistant. You can enable different functionalities that the AI can do during or after the call. For example, here we have the send SMS action. This will enable the AI assistant to send SMS automatically after the call ends if the user uh, agrees to receive that. Let's set it up together. So for example, you have to enable it, you have to click on send SMS, where this pop-up will appear and you have two fields, the SMS content and the condition of uh, the SMS. The first input is the SMS content itself, what the user will receive. And the second one is the condition, the trigger that will tell the AI assistant when to send the SMS. And here we have an example. If the user has confirmed interest in scheduling a demo meeting, then he will receive the SMS. You can modify this depending on your goal and your call script. You can have, uh, you can send links for demo meetings, follow-ups and so on uh, as you see fit. Here's an example. The SMS content, hello, thank you for your interest in the demo meeting. And the condition is, if the user has confirmed interest in receiving an SMS with the booking link, then he will receive this SMS. After you uh, double check, you click save and the actions appear here. You have the option to disable it, edit it or delete it. Be sure to, you can have multiple actions so be careful which one you have activated. Now let's talk about prompting. We have some templates here that you can start off. Prompting can be quite scary. Uh, and we see that a lot of users are really afraid of prompting and how to do that. But if you think about it, prompting is actually only providing directions. And the quality of the outcome depends on the quality of the direction you should better start off with some of our templates and iterate from there. But I will show you how to create a prompt from zero that are uh, that will be really good. First of all, let's understand the structure of our prompt because this might be different. Our, our prompt is split in four categories. The first category is background information or context information. Here, this section provides context about, uh, about who is the assistant, who is it working for, what that company does, what products that company is selling, uh, who is that company selling to, or the value proposition. Everything like that should go under the background information. The second thing are the rules. Rules are just what they say, there are rules. Guidelines that dictate how the interaction should be conducted. Like never interrupt the customer while they're speaking, or if the conversation uh, goes into another topic or digresses, you should look back to the main purpose of the conversation. So you don't waste minutes on other things. Or Simple like, don't use jargons. Let's try to use uh, simple language. This is the second part. The third part are the objection, is the objection handling. The objection handling are the if statements of the conversation. This part involves strategies and responses to potential objections or even concerns that the client might raise during the conversation. And you want to be prepared for that because what if the customer asks about pricing and the AI doesn't know anything about pricing? It might hallucinate and give erroneate information to the customer, and you don't want that. And the last step is the one that you're most accustomed to. It's the script itself. Here, the script is a structured guide that uh, outlines the specific conversation flow, including questions to ask or key points to cover, uh, and maybe response to common scenarios. This can be quite loose. This just provides a mere guideline. The AI can go sideways with this, but it will stick to the main purpose of the call. Next, I'll show you how to build quality prompts Variables, why they are important and how they are related to your prompting. So first of all, what are variables? Variables act as placeholders within your AI assistant prompt. Uh, those provide customization and personalization in real time interactions. They are noted with square brackets within the prompt and they are dynamically replaced with relevant data when uh, you're deploying your assistant. Here is an example. We have lead name, company and address. Those every time you write a variable in your prompt, it will appear below and also in your 
test environment here on the right side of your screen. For example, you can have lead name, company, and other variables that you want uh, and need to be part of your script. First of all, what is most important, they are created with square brackets and they need to don't have like space between them because this will fail. Always have an underline between them. There will be state right now. And what's also important to not forget, have the same naming convention when you're calling them in, in the deployment phase. Either you're doing REST API, Go High Level or Zapier. Hey, how to build uh, quality prompts using our GPT. So let's let's take here, for example, uh, we're going to use our site. To prompt this GPT is simply generate a prompt for the specific purpose of you defining here the purpose. Let's define the purpose for this uh, script. Um, booking an appointment with the experts. Okay. It could be like lead qualifying and anything else. We pick site, pick our site here, and we paste here the URL. And we tell we tell the system to keep the structure of what I've told you uh, before. And we could click here and wait a bit. It should start generating. And now it's fetching the information out of the website and it's starting to write the script. Okay, All right. So let's see what we have here. You see the first part, the background information, objection handling, starting writing this. And yes, this is it. This is the prompt it will generate the rules. In a couple of seconds, it will generate also the, uh, the script. And you can <clears throat> simply copy the code here and, uh, and, and paste it in your app. You have to, uh, you have to go for it, iterate a bit and be sure it uh, contains everything, but yeah, thank you.